Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos. On our last video, we had gotten this far, where we've started to create our uh, mobile project based on my example project. We've got our home screen looking pretty well. We've got header, navbar, footer, a heading. This is an H1. Some text, placeholder, an image, and a button, similar to what I've got in my example. My example, however, does not have more content there. The rest of the content is under Art Screen, Computer Screen. So we need to create more screens. These don't work yet. We need to create more screens. And then move this content to the other screens. So back to our code, index.html. And if you recall, every screen full of content is a div with a data role of page and an ID so that we can navigate between each. Let's fix this before we go on. Page 1 on line 27 where we've got ID equals page 1. Let's change that to say home. This will make more sense. On line 35 then we need to change that the home button does not link to the page one element it links to the home the home div so line 35 change your href to say pound home make sure that it's got the pound symbol that means it's an it's an active anchor link that's home art that's also pointing to page one and computers is also pointing to page one let's fix that Let's make that pound art. This is line 41. Line 46, we'll make that pound computers. Now these pages don't currently exist, so when you try to test your results, you'll either get an error or no result. But we'll fix that soon. So we need to create a brand new div for our art page. I'm going to go to the very end of our document and you should see slash HTML which ends the whole the whole project the body which ends all of the visible elements and this div ends the first page the home page you'll give yourself a new line this is line 136 add a div pair so div slash div go back to your first uh, to the opening div Add a space and add data dash role equals quote end quote. And that'll be page after the quote ID equals art. That's the same name that we used at the top line forty one as the 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 link name. So we've got a page now, but it's very empty. Inside of that div of data role page, we'll need another div pair. Data dash role header. After that div, we'll need another div. Data dash role. Um, content and one more div pair with a data role of footer I'm just gonna put in some uh, quick gibberish text here because I want to see how it looks it won't look very pretty but I want to see something if we go over to our web browser and now if we click the art button it goes over to the art page which still needs a lot of work but at least now I can see my transition alright so what I need next is my footer I can just borrow the footer that I've already got from the previous page um, so line 131 to 133 I can copy that and instead of this placeholder text I can paste 
it's going to be the same amount of text, so I just paste it. One thing that I am missing on my footer, did you notice that this new footer was not stuck to the bottom of the screen? That's because line 130 shows data position equals fixed. It's stuck to the bottom. We'll need that for our new footer. Line 143, data dash position equals fixed. Now when you go to the art page, there's the footer fixed to the bottom. Let's add the header. The header is more complicated because it has also a nav bar, so you'll be selecting and copying and pasting a bit more. Let's find what we need. So we can actually select everything inside of the div between line 28 and 52. So select everything between 29 and, uh, and 51. That'll grab the header text and all of the pieces of the nav bar. Paste that into our line 138, which is our header for the art page. We'll need to change a few things so that we know that we're on the art page, art classes, on line 139. I'll change that to say art classes. At the moment, the home button is highlighted even though we're on the art screen. The reason is because on line 145, there's this class, class equals, etc., etc., here that makes the home button highlighted. I'm going to move that. I'm going to cut it and paste it to the art button. But you have to be careful here. I've selected class equals quote end quote and cut. Make sure you leave that angle bracket there because that angle bracket is part of the starting angle bracket for the, the button itself. Notice it's not at the end here line 144 it's on 145 so that means on line 150 I need to do the same thing instead of it ending instead of the angle bracket being on the same line 150 I'll press enter so that we push the angle bracket to the next line and at that point I can paste so I've moved this class of button active from the home button to the art button. Let's see our results. Reload your content, click art. We're on the art screen. We've got the text at the top, the nav bar, and the art button is highlighted. If I go back to home, home button is highlighted. So art and home currently work because art was the first one that worked. I mean, home was the first one that worked. Next, we created art. If we try to go to computers, either nothing happens or you get an error because there's no computers page yet. That's coming up. The last little bit that we need for the art class is, according to our example, we're going to need some text and then the collapsible widget. That text is an H1 or an H tag, just like we've got on home. For the home screen we used H2, so we'll do the same thing on the art screen. Now we'll go into the content, the content section, and add H2 slash H2. We'll write a little bit of text there. Become an artist. After the H2, still within the div data role content, now we need to cut and paste. We need to move that collapsible widget from the home screen to the art screen. So let's see. Here we go. Collapsible. Line 66. Between 66 and 87, you want to select all of that.
cut it and paste it into your new content area of your art page. Mine is on line 146. Paste. Refresh. And when I go to the art screen, now I have those sections. So you can add some class names and add some content inside, some paragraph text, for example, and some images. I'll do one as an example. So the first section, line 149, not section header, we will say art 101, and simply add some content after the H tag. We'll add an image. Remember the image tag is unique in that it does not have a pair, but we'll do it this way image src equals quote end quote and I copied the address of my existing picture pasted it in and when I refresh I've got the new heading or header click and there's our picture our picture is a bit large. We'll look at writing uh, unique CSS rules a little later to target this to make it fit within the size of its container a little bit later, so don't worry at the moment. And now what you can do is give yourself some content in the other sections. On our next video, we'll start to populate the computer's screen.